Hello, this is my first YouTube video. I made this because I feel we're edging towards another major war. There's no good reason for this other than political politicians' egos, help the insiders, and not the common man. Before the First World War, we had a Wall Street crash, the economy died, and then we ended up in a big war. Now, we've had a Wall Street crash, the economy's dying, and it looks like we're going to another war. Even a, a child can tell the Lib Lab con is lying and doesn't have our best interests at heart. Because of this, I'm interest, I was interested to know UKIP's position on Iran. So I sent them an email to tell them. This is their reply. My opinion from this email and speeches and their other actions that can clearly be seen in Libya war is that UKIP is patriotic yet at the same time offers other nations friendship without coercion, empire or exploitation. This is what prompted me to make this video. I'm trying to be fair so I sent emails to Labour, Liberal Democrats, Tories, Greens, PMP, Labour Socialist Party. I tried to send emails to Respect Party but their computer had a problem. The only other party to reply was the Tories. It basically said how bad the Iranians were. You can see from their behaviour in Libya and other places, they'd be happy to have another pointless war just to help their friends. Even NATO, even now, NATO or something similar, I don't know what, is performing, is rumoured to be performing attacks on Iran. Other parties didn't reply, so I'm just going to guess based on their statements and their past behaviour. If I'm wrong, they're very welcome to reply to this video. Labour, I believe, will act just the same as the Tories, but give a humanitarian reason and try to make everyone feel guilty. To me, the Iranian situation just looks like Iraq. Everyone knows this. They lied then. They're lying now. When it, when it came to the crunch, not many Labour MPs voted against Libya. Libya was all about power and money. Iran is all about power and money. They just want power and money. An MP should not be able to use the excuse, I didn't know, I just wanted to help people, please don't blame me. It's not okay on a major issue which affects people's lives when it looks just the same as the last major issue. Liberal Democrats, what's the point? Really, they just want to sit next to the PM and feel important. Respect Party obviously doesn't want to have a war with Iran, but I suspect they want to have a war with Israel, which is just as bad. Look at the links below to see George Galloway give an education about Iran. And another one, just listen to a deranged woman talk about Israel. The Greens, I believe, are also against the war. They don't like Iranians going backward ways, and I've said so. Caroline Lucas voted against the war in Libya, and I, but I feel she's a little naive. True, the waste of Trident, the waste of money on the new Trident is the waste of money. But unconditional disarmament and giving away the old one while it still works is a bad idea. The BMP, on the, on the plus side, they're patriotic and don't want a war we run. On the bad side, half the ones I know are racists and some are extreme bio-dangerous racists. Socialist Worker Party, I respect Arthur Scardell, so also against the wars, and don't believe what you've been told, he's also patriotic. People should work with Arthur Scardell and Bob Crow on the issues they agree, and do not work with them on the issues they don't agree. As a side note, there's a by-election in Fenton and Heston in West London on the 15th December. I believe UKIP is the most realistic party to send a shot to the system. Let's vote UKIP. Say no to the needless wars, waste of money and lives, high gas prices, which is affected by the war in Iran, lots of new refugees claiming benefits, taking housing. The economy's fucked. Let's not make it any worse. See the links below to find some interesting web pages. I found these on Google. I encourage you to do your own research and Google yourself and look at other information in libraries, etc. 
But remember, life's not simple, nor fair. The reigning government is not their people, has a great history, it's not always been backwards, it once was the most advanced place in the world. We should even encourage the best ones to come here. And if they guess, say hello. Bye bye.